Hello everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel and if this is your first time, hi, I am Natalie and I hope that you'll subscribe and stay a while. I apologize about the sun over here but this was literally the only parking spot that I could find in this massive parking structure after driving around for like 15 minutes just up levels, down levels and so I'm sorry just try to ignore that. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing an in the fitting room in Macy's. I've talked about this one for about a month now and um, now is the day. So when it comes to Macy's, I've done pretty little shopping there over the years, to be honest. I never thought of Macy's or really honestly most department stores as somewhere where I wanted to go for fashion. I typically go for clothing only places, you know, like all the ones I've talked about, ASOS, Torrid, things like that, instead of department stores. I know that they are places that are really accessible. A lot of people have department stores near them, as well as they are places that have sales all the time. Macy's has sales all the time. While I don't shop there much for clothing, there is one particular thing I've gotten from there many times I love and I will highly recommend. Calvin Klein signature like bralette and underwear. I'm gonna link everything down below. I am a size 3X in the bralette and underwear. I'll insert photos of me wearing it, of the set itself. It's just very classic. People have been wearing it for years and years. Not until about the last year did it come out in plus size, and if there are other stores that sell it, I'm not super positive, but Macy's is where I've gotten it, and I always get it on sale. Extremely stretchy, so comfortable. They come out of the package, and you're like, ooh, I hope this will stretch, and it does. I love it so much. They have a bunch of different colors. They even have some new, a little bit different designs for the band um, on the underwear can't recommend them enough get a pair especially if you're up to like a 24 26 I think the 3x will fit you just fine they have a lot of stretch and they are super comfy especially for around the house now when it comes to Macy's as far as other things fashion I can't think off of the top of my head of any brands that might be in-house in Macy's that I'm particularly excited about um, so this is gonna be a brand new experience I've definitely never really shopped in Macy's in store you know only online and I'm really excited. I'm curious to see what they have. I'm really hoping that this will be like one of those treasure trove stores like we have found like Nordstrom was where wasn't super hopeful walking in but left having had a really good experience. It is a Saturday so there's a lot of people here. I don't know how much footage I'll get in the store because I always try to avoid filming anybody. Um, so there may be very little to no footage in the actual store but we'll see. We'll try. Alrighty let's get in the store let's try some stuff on and I hope we find some good things when I first walked into this section I got that kind of super disappointed feeling in my gut you know um, because nothing excited me everything looked pretty disappointing upon first glance though I went ahead and made sure to do a lap around the entire plus size section and I actually was not disappointed the section was a lot bigger than I thought it was and as you can tell from my face right here <laughs> I wasn't very hopeful but then I got into the cooler stuff. I found Rachel Roy. Um, as you'll see in a moment, I found the City Chic stuff. I started finding more and more brands over across the way over here that there were pieces that were jumping out at me. Really excited to know that I can shop City Chic at Macy's. They used to have a brick and mortar in California, but it closed down. And I've been getting a lot in like my Stitch Fix boxes and I'm falling in love with the brand. I have not had good luck with Levi's in the past, but since there was so much on display, I decided to go ahead and try on a pair. My outfit was the casual of all casuals. It was just some jeans, a t-shirt, and some sandals. This little top is from Old Navy. It was like five bucks. I thought the gonna be all right was a nice little sentiment for this day and age. And then the sky high skinnies from Tor that I'm loving. Y'all, I love this pair of jeans. I'm gonna link them in the description below. I've been wearing them pretty much every day. And I tried a bunch of different stuff. Some athleisure, some more formal wear, 
hair, dresses, tops, stuff that I was really excited about, some Michael Kors. So I wanted to go ahead and get a variety of things and let's get to trying on. This first pair of jeans was really interesting on the rack. It's by the company INC or Inc. And I really liked the detail of the unfinished raw hem around the ankle. As I've said in my previous videos, I have a ton of denim. So if I'm gonna wear denim and buy new denim, I want it to be interesting and not be like something I already have. I grabbed a size 24. Um, they weren't tight, but weren't super loose. I liked the button fly. But overall, I don't think I'm tall enough to pull these off, but the idea is pretty cool. I really do like that interesting part around the ankle. And yeah, could have been worse, but not my fave. Here was my first piece from City Chic to try on. It was this really beautiful dusty rose off the shoulder maxi. It had the seersucker top, which means it was nice and stretchy. I'm wearing the size 20, but they do go up to a 24. The beautiful lacing down at the bottom, I really hope I can find this online to link for y'all because it was gorgeous. It was on sale, I think it was around 60 bucks. Beautiful, I don't need it in my closet, but it honestly, once I put it on, it felt really beautiful. I'm confident in saying that this was my favorite piece I tried on throughout the day. Spoiler alert, before I even talk about it, I bought it. It was this really cool wrap dress that when I first put it on, I was very confused. But then I figured out that these two wide parts right here, boop, they go around the front and it does have like a almost drawstring at the top so you can tighten it as tight as you need. Go ahead, make that into a bow, and then as you walk, it has this really beautiful wrap, but you're nice and safe. I decided to try something a little funky and see what would happen if I took the same little straps and tied it around the back. This may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I thought of a pretty cool purpose that this might actually work out for. As you'll see when I turn back around, that now because the flaps are in the back, that the thighs are exposed. Now, if you wanna get wild and you wanna wear it as a dress like this, cool. But I think this is honestly um, kind of a cool swimsuit cover up if you were to wear it like this. The material is very light, very breezy, very comfortable. As y'all know, it's like my favorite color of life, that rusty orange. And I really, really liked this dress. Um, on sale, it was less than 50 bucks and I think it fit me beautifully. And this is the size 20 from City Chic. I was really excited to see that they had the plus size Nike line or a lot of pieces from it in this Macy's. So I tried on this little t-shirt dress. This is in a size 2X and they did not have a 3X or I would have tried that on as well, but I still like the way that this fit. This is something I would pair with some really cute sneakers and a fanny pack and you know a really cute messy ponytail for a really casual look. This material is so comfy. You see the Nike logo on the chest and it has like a little banding around the bottom i love this i ended up buying this and i'm so excited to wear it they had a bunch of the plus size calvin sportswear as well i've never tried on anything from this line um, other than the underwear it was almost like a hoodie dress which was super fun really cute i don't trust myself in white so i would never buy it in white but this would be perfect for after the beach after you've taken off like a wet swimsuit super comfy and you know what if it was in another color i'd probably grab it too I'd say this was my one like real stinker of the day. This is from Vince Camuto. It was a jumpsuit, but there was hardly any room in the 3X in the hips for me. As far as the structure of it, it was nice. You know, if it's something that fit you, it'd be beautiful for a more formal occasion. Since I was by myself, I couldn't zip it up. But, you know, it was a little too tight anyway. This reminded me a little bit of the one from Anthropology, though I definitely like the Anthropology one more. So this was a stinker, but I'm glad I tried it.
So my distaste for Levi's continues. I'm sure there are Levi's out there that will fit me and I will love, but y'all, these are a size 24 and I couldn't get them closed. The size of jeans I wore into the store were a 22 and the size of the jeans I tried on before were a 24 and they were loose. I don't know about this sizing, it's very confusing. Here is another piece that I tried on and loved. It was a like super, super lightweight, very comfy pair of Nike joggers. I love these not only for around the house, but running around too. Some people may not dig them because they are really thin, but they are almost like that perfectly worn in t-shirt material. I love this color. I want these in every other color. I ended up buying these and I'm super happy. The 3X had plenty of room and I'm so excited to wear these right on into fall. moment of truth y'all i was super excited for this piece uh, 3x michael kors dress almost in like a little waitressy style crossing my fingers and i hate it <laughs> i'll try to be able to show y'all but since the garment is black it's a little harder i liked the details but as you'll see the belt is super loose the grommets don't go all the way back so i couldn't tighten the belt it does have real pockets up here on the bust and i liked all of the attention to detail on the hardware like every little piece of hardware said michael kors it was a really cute little lock up there at the chest and it had pockets i like the cut of this dress but I don't understand how the belt is so oversized. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Um, it hit me a little bit below the knees and it was loose on the waist. So as you'll see in a moment, I went and grabbed the smaller size and tried that on and you'll see how that went. As I was walking around, I decided to pick up this Levi's top. It was like a mix of a denim jacket and a denim shirt. I liked the frayed bottom, but it was like 40 or 50 bucks. Y'all, you can DIY something like this from the thrift store very easily. Spotted this mini skirt, or what I thought was a mini skirt when I saw it on the rack, but as you'll see in just a moment, I got a little surprise when I went to try it on. It's actually a skirt, so it has built-in shorts, but the skirt front, so that means that there is the protection for your inner thighs right there, and you can do all the activities, all the little dances, but as you'll see, I bring you a little closer up. This is the size 24, and I felt like it was looser than I would like it to be, especially because the front is fake, um, so here is the smaller size. I went ahead and grabbed that 22 and I really liked it. I like these buttons. It was non-functioning buttons at the front, but it did have two pockets along the side. This is gonna be super cool for right now, as well as into the fall, with a big cuddly sweater on top and some tights and boots. Presh, oh, there, oh, there she goes. So much activity you can do in this. Here's where I tried on the size 2X in the Michael Kors dress. The belt would still be doing the thing where it was too big and wouldn't actually cinch around my waist. I liked the way the top fit. It was more fitted, which was nice, but I just didn't like the way that the 2X was cut around the belly and the hips. I guess if anything, it saved me a hundred bucks. And I'm just taking a moment to lament at all of the cute free people pieces that I wish were in plus. Alrighty, so I am back in my car after my in the fitting room experience at Macy's. This bright light is still here. I apologize, but I want to go ahead and wrap up this video. So as far as my experience, in all honesty, was great. Um, but the funny thing is, is I can't say that I was super excited, like super duper excited, or 
really disappointed. I tried on things that I liked. I ended up buying some things. I bought that orange wrap dress from City Chic. I bought the two Nike pieces, the uh, joggers and the little like uh, Nike dress. And then I bought um, the little City Chic like mini skirt. <laughs> That's a fun word to say, mini skirt. And then I bought, I'll show you all this now. I stopped by the shoes just to see, cause there was a lot of people down there. So I was like, maybe there's like really good sales. And there was, I got these babies. Y'all know I love snake skin. These are so cute. I love my snake skin boots that I have from Eloquy, but they're boots. So they're harder to get on and off, but these are slides, which is awesome. And I love this brand. This is Mark Fisher. Mark Fisher makes beautiful shoes. Um, I have two pairs of his boots. Love them both. They're both awesome quality. Had one of my pairs for well over a year, about a year and a half or so. They're still awesome. I wear them all the time. They're like my black flat pointy boots that I wear all the time. Um, so I thought these were really cute and um, I'm really excited to wear them. And they were on sale for like 40 bucks, 30, less than 40 bucks. And they're originally like a hundred or over. Um, so definitely check out Mark Fisher if you like, especially really good um, quality like leather shoes. It was great. Now, one thing that did kind of sting um, I showed y'all that one, I think I'm gonna include the footage, um, that one free people dress, like the little cream one, there was a whole section of free people. And walking through that section kind of hurt a little bit because there were so many things I would have loved to try on, love to have worn so many dresses and tops and slouchy sweaters. And while there are some sneaky plus items in the free people section, I just wish that there were plus sizes and that it wasn't something I had to try to find something that so happened to fit. I mean, that has its place or whatever, but I just wish that there were plus sizes in everything, you know? And so that was the one part that I was just like, uh, and you'll have seen my, um, and I'm sure I'll have talked about it in the voiceover, my reaction when I first came into the plus section, I was like, uh-oh, because nothing was catching my eye. Everything was like, it almost felt a little bit like a Kohl's moment or like the JC Penny moment where I was like, uh-oh, I hate everything. And then I realized that the section was actually much bigger than I thought it was. And so there were a lot of things. I loved being able to try on Michael Kors, um, more Vince Camuto. Even though the piece didn't work out, there was a bunch to try on. Um, there was Rachel Roy, City Chic. I love City Chic. I'm really glad that I get to try more of it with my the styling boxes that I get. Um, but I love it. I think it's a great brand. I loved being able to try on more Nike, the Calvin Klein. They even had over there um, Tommy Hilfiger and um, what was the other brand? Champion. There was so much. Macy's is definitely definitely one of those stores that I'm gonna come back time and time again to do these in the fitting rooms because the section is so massive. And especially right now, we're changing seasons. So in a couple months, we're gonna be changing seasons again. So they'll be all new stuff. One thing that kind of uh, shocked me was, like I said, I didn't have really anything to go off of when it comes to expectations for Macy's. I've always heard of it, of course, you know, shopped um, for my Calvin Klein sets that I love. Um, but what I had envisioned in my mind was a more, more upscale, higher price point place to shop. And I really feel like it very much felt like a very busy, packed, shoved full, overwhelming department store. It wasn't like a Nordstrom where Nordstrom was really like beautifully merchandised and very neat and very well kept and not very well just maybe this you know this particular Macy's on a Saturday before school starts so it's not it's not to say anything necessarily about the employees or whatever like trying to wrangle mass retail is a pain I you know I know I, I've been there I've worked that um, but I just thought it would be a nicer place, especially for the price point of a lot of the items. For where I was shopping in the section I was in, um, it's not, it wasn't as high necessarily as like a Nordstrom, but things were typically around a hundred bucks, you know, 50 to a couple hundred bucks. 
I thought it would be a little nicer for what it was, but I do appreciate that there were so many sales. Um, it makes the pieces feel more accessible and um, everything that I bought today was on sale. We're a little over 200 and that was for all of the all of the pieces and I love them I love them and I am very excited to wear them but yeah that was just a little aside is that I was surprised it was so messy and I couldn't find employees but then again like I said it's it's so busy so what can you do yeah. good experience though I wish there were the plus sizes available in the brands that really pique my interest. So as far as more in the fitting rooms, I would really love your input. Let me know down below some stores that you'd like me to check out or stores that I may have done a long time ago, but it's been months and you'd like me to do again, I'm always down. Um, as far as like my first initial run of stores, I think I've tapped out as far as like ideas. So I'll make sure to let me know. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go home and edit this video. Y'all will be seeing it tomorrow and I can't wait to hear from y'all and talk to you in the comments. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you next time.